Thank God. In this vlog, we are taking my sweet husband to his very first Daytona Motorcycle Week, or Daytona Bike Week. We're actually uh, staying at this hotel. It's called the Streamline Hotel. And we haven't checked in yet because the rooms aren't ready. So the reason I booked this place, not only is it within walking distance to Main Street, but it's within walking distance to my favorite place to go eat here in Daytona Beach. You can see it off in the distance right there. And we are going to enjoy all of the things that Daytona Bike Week has to offer. I'm gonna go do some rides, go check out the ocean, eat good food, and probably party our asses off. That's why we booked a hotel. What? And look at a bunch of really cool motorcycles. So you got bike parking all up in here. <laughs> You're adorable. Hold on, I wanna take a real photo. <laughs> Little kid face, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm hungry. I think the tables are open. I think my favorite table is available. So they got outside seating right on the beach. This is perfect. So they have a robust menu. It's delicious. I don't think I've ever had anything bad on the menu here, but I'm going to get the, oh, they have clam chowder. The Cajun mahi fish tacos. Always, always the best decision. What are you gonna get? Uh, the fish tacos the last time here. Yeah. Uh, were really good. So good. Um, I don't know though, I should try something different. Sure, if you want to. Our hotel's right across the street. We can just come back again and again and again and again. <laughs> Look at how hazy it is. The ocean's really kicking up, man. All right, so our food just came out, but guess what? We got an extra surprise with our food. We got June! What up, guys? Marvel Kid, man. Marvel Kid 87, right? I'm gonna make sure and get that right. Go check out his channel. We just got our lunch, and we're gonna go for... First time ever. What? What? Yeah, it's my first time ever. Ever? <laughs> they look fire. So June got the tacos. I got the tacos. Jordan got the mahi burritos? Or no, that's the uh, tuna. Tuna. Ahi. Ahi. Is it good? Fries are good. All right, we're gonna smash our lunch and then uh, go, I think we're gonna do the Ormond Beach Loop. Well, what did you think? Fish tacos, Fish tacos first time? Fish tacos first time, A plus. A plus, 10 out of 10. What's that shade tree rating? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> That's pretty good. Where'd your food go? I don't know, somebody ate it. They just took it away. Yeah. So. It feels like a blacked out or something. It's really cloudy today, my favorite kind of weather because I'm a vampire, so we're gonna pack up, go hop on the motorcycles, and hit the Ormond Beach Loop. Volusia County officially in the pretty parts. Finally out of the city. Finally out of the city, having an amazing time now, but uh, this is the one thing I'm trying not to do in 2024. I am trying not to do rallies like this. Uh, I love coming out to these rallies, the events. I love seeing the vendors, seeing my friends, having a good time, having some drinks. That's fine. But when you want to go to a motorcycle rally and ride, it's not the best. This little tiny loop, as you can see, I mean, we're doing 45 miles an hour. It's not crazy twisty. It's beautiful straight roads. As you can see, the burnouts all over the road here. But we're having a good day and that's because i decided it was a good day <laughs> what i didn't tell you is i almost lost my absolute cool earlier today trying to put gps navigation onto the navigation onto the bike and i'm like oh my god there's so much technology and it is infuriating infuriating i'm gonna take my sunglasses off so i can see y'all but it's like i love the concept of the technology when it works when it doesn't work I'm, i turn into a literal six-year-old child and i throw a temper tantrum i'm very upset that my my pockets are broken that's just great <laughs> love that for me they are broke broke the tiniest little bump i go over and it's gonna pop back open for sure so the nice thing about this route is if you are trying to go over to destination daytona or anything like that taking the ormond beach loop 
is a great way to try to get up to Ormond Beach by avoiding I-95. Um, this is a Tuesday afternoon. It's not very busy, so it is kind of lovely riding it right now. I cannot imagine on a Saturday afternoon during Daytona Motorcycle Rally that it will be anything other than slightly less enjoyable. <laughs> As of right now, I'm living for it. It's nice and cloudy. Uh, traffic is flowing. Things are good. I got some good friends with me. A full belly of delicious fish tacos. And life is amazing. <laughs> this is also my husband's very first time riding here in Daytona Beach and uh, doing some famous rides. Officially heading on to probably the prettiest part of the Ormond Beach Loop. Uh, this is the part where it is the most twisty, the most scenic, and just nice little little loops. And I think we got a drawbridge over here that I always end up getting stuck at. So I'm hoping the fact that it's a Tuesday afternoon, we won't get stuck there. <laughs> They have it closed. It's closed. The nicest road, the nicest part of the whole ride is closed. They had the road shut down. So they had the road shut down. So in order to get back to the coast, we got to backtrack a little bit. Okay. So we're just going to have to, we can uh, loop around this way and turn back left. I'm so pissed, dude. That was the nicest part of the whole ride and they had it shut down. Hey, listen, at least you didn't take us to another dried up lake this time. Do you want to do that? <laughs> I can find a few. <laughs> That's so f***ing stupid. I don't know if they, it flooded or what. It's a very low road, so there's a lot of water around there. But that sucks because that's where the drawbridge is. Like, that's where all, that's the best part of the whole ride. That's what I tell, I'm like, don't come to Daytona to ride. Like, come here to drink and have fun. So I think what we're doing is, uh, no, it's, dude, my GPS is still trying to take us down the road that's shut down. Google Google doesn't know it's shut down. I just want to get to the coast. That's the only way. I just want to get back to the coast. That's the only reason like I wanted to take this ride was so we could ride along the coast. We could have kept going north, but my GPS was like, oh, turn around. The fastest way is going back this way. It looks like they're doing construction. Welcome to bike week. sucks i don't want to say it was a waste of time because like i still like riding through here but that was literally just the coolest part it's a nice little sweepers and it takes you right out to the ocean i guess so during the biggest motorcycle rally of the year you're going to shut down the most famous section of the only nice ride around here <laughs> god way to go volusia county i mean like like i said i don't care that the road shut down because it is what it is but the fact that like gps isn't even updated to say that it's happening that's the most aggravating part it's like i, I would have i had like a million other cool places i could have gone instead of doing this wasted ride Ugh, it's aggravating but whatever we're still gonna go head over to the coast waste of time. No, that was fine. That was perfect for me. 
And Google, Google didn't know that that road was shut down. So I wanted to come back all the way down the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Google made me turn around thinking that that twisty road was still open. That, that road over there was beautiful. It was nice. I loved it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I love rides like that. And then I was like, I want to take you guys down Main Street, but it also didn't know that we couldn't turn left there. So I had to, it was a, it was a. That was cool. We are officially heading down to Main Street. I'm going to show you guys the debauchery. We are no longer riding. So everything you see in this video as of right now, off motorcycle, adults only. But we're still a Christian channel over here. I like the little Harley flags that they have. It's upside down. Oh my god, that Harley flag is upside down. What was it? They had one job. You had one job, Harley. One job. <laughs> and they even spelled the street wrong. Har it's supposed to be Harley Avenue, not Harvey. I'm kidding, we're having fun. Ugh. Oh my god, no. escorted ride somewhere on some beautiful roads hopefully and then uh, head over to destination Daytona. Well we finished with the Biker Bells ride that was super fun seeing my friends and now we're officially at Blockhead and I's meet and greet here at the Harley Davidson activation in the Daytona Speedway. Huge shout out to everyone who's coming out to hang out with us. I brought stickers. It's so nice to meet you in person. Stand here we got the block like 
Look at us. We're gonna just join in. Now camera, kiss. camera, eternal, <laughs> eternal zoom. Yeah, it's gonna start tripping out. <laughs> but obviously we got the Blockhead crew, Chris here working hard, Justin not doing anything. We're just gonna oh, keep man. putting Shout out to in your face. Justin, do you want to Why are you touching him like that? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, realize. That was an amazing meet and greet, wasn't it? That's cool. For being like kind of thrown together last minute. Uh, yeah, I just told them I was like 100 stickers was not enough. No? no. Yeah, I gave out all mine. Yeah. I have, I have zero left. So. Yeah. Also, yeah. huge shout out to uh, get out of my shot, <laughs> Matt, my guy who uh, helped us facilitate this. I just love that we're shoving cameras in everyone's face, <laughs> but seriously, so that is the magic behind the things you see when we work with Harley Davidson. So Matt actually also has a YouTube channel, has done some amazing road trips, so I'm gonna have his channel linked below. But thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing.